Daily Words of God If you want to put the truth into practice, and if you want to understand it, then first you must understand the essence of the difficulties you face and the things that happen around you, what the problems with these issues are, as well as what aspect of the truth these are related to. You must seek these things, and afterward, you must seek the truth based on your actual difficulties. That way, as you gradually gain experience, you will be able to see the hand of God in everything that happens to you, as well as what He wants to do and the results that He wishes to achieve in you. Perhaps you never feel that anything that happens to you is connected to belief in God and the truth, and simply say to yourself, I have my own way of dealing with this. I don't need the truth or the words of God. When I attend gatherings or when I read the words of God or when I perform my duty, I'll check myself against the truth and against God's words. If the everyday things that happen in your life, things to do with family, work, marriage, and your future, if you feel these various things have nothing to do with the truth and you solve them using human methods, if this is the way you experience, then you will never gain the truth. You will never understand just what God wishes to do in you or the results He wishes to achieve. Pursuing the truth is a lengthy process. There is a simple side to it, and there is also a complex side. Simply put, we should seek the truth and practice and experience God's words in everything that happens around us. Once you begin to do this, you will see more and more how much truth you should gain and pursue in your belief in God, and that truth is so real, and truth is life. It is not true that only those who serve God and the Church's leaders are required to do everything according to the truth, while ordinary followers are not. If that were so, then there would be no great significance in the words expressed by God. Do you now have a path to pursue the truth? What is the first thing that must be addressed when pursuing the truth? Before all else, you must spend more time eating and drinking the words of God and listening to fellowships. When you encounter an issue, pray and seek more. When you have equipped yourselves with more truths and have achieved life entry and possess stature, you will be able to do something real, undertake a little work, and will thereby be able to make it through some trials and temptations. At that time, you will feel that you really have understood and gained some truths, and you will sense that the words spoken by God are what people need, as well as what they ought to gain, and that this is the only truth in the world that can give people life.